Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, part of, I think, part of the tension with the parents uh, really just came out of, it was a hard thing to write because I'm writing as an adult, right, mm -hmm. who I could be Beto's parent. Uh, but the story is told through Beto's point of view, and it's for, you know, readers who, who could really see themselves in Beto, whether they're adults with um, just reconnecting to that teen part of themselves, or also, you know, primarily other teens. And so, I really wanted to make sure to see it through Vero's eyes, but also understand the parents' point of view. And I think it can, it kept coming down to like, they love her so deeply, but sometimes um, they become overprotective. And even though that is rooted in love, it can really stifle her. So like Vero um, at the beginning of each chapter um, has uh, word definitions. And it's like yes. the first definition is, yeah, thank you. Uh, the, the first definition is like the dictionary definition of a word. And the second definition is uh, her version of how she would define that word. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times those definitions are grappling with things. Like I know one of the words is suffocate. Another word is suelta, which in um, in English and Spanish, like have different kind of, or excuse me, in English, well, the direct translation is let go. But in Spanish, there's also, um, it can often be used to describe like a loose woman. Um, and mm -hmm. this is something that also her parents are very strict about um, boy, like actually about sex in general and, and how um, she can present herself as a young woman. And so much of it, like for her, she just wishes they would let go, right? They would, you know, let her have her independence. Um, and for them, it becomes something about needing to, figure out that journey too, you know, of, of, of kind of trusting, like, you know, you've done, you have to trust how you've raised this person, right? You have to trust um, that you've, you've guided and taught them well to make the decisions that they'll make, and then also to make the mistakes they might make and learn from those. And so it, there's constantly that tension with them. And I know for a lot of people, depending on who's reading it, I've noticed that, um, it's either too extreme that it seems to them, um, which is usually someone uh, reading it who might not necessarily relate to the adult's cultural background. Um, and then with um, a lot of Latinx readers, they'll just tell me like, that's so relatable. And I think that sometimes um, what I've found, especially with Vero's family, because they're immigrants, um, because she is a young woman of color, um, in navigating a world that has different rules for her, that it may have for others, um, you know, they're trying to protect her from that, but then they're also bringing their own very strict rules along with it under the guise of that protection. So it's a hard thing for them to navigate constantly and it becomes a real source of conflict. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the things that surfaced in terms of their conflict was a reason for them being protective and and for the parents, that is, 